It is time to suit up. Welcome to another edition of Nine Overtime. I'm your host, Andy Morgan. The rest of our crew will be joining us in the field throughout the program tonight. Week seven of the high school football season here in El Paso, and after a suspension of play over the course of the last couple of weeks, we are back to what felt like nearly a full schedule, and that includes one of the best rivalries in town, Franklin and Coronado in the 25th annual Westside Bowl. That, my friends, is our game of the week, and we're not wasting any time tonight. Roll some highlights. District 168 football is back. That's the way we like it. Franklin has won the last two Westside Bulls and holds an 18-7 edge all-time over rival Coronado, but the Cougars come into this game at 0-3. The Thunderbirds a perfect 2-0, but in the early going, Franklin pouring it on. That was Stephen Powers. With a name like Powers, you better get into the end zone. 21-0 Cougars at that point. Thunderbirds, they just couldn't get anything going offensively in this one, but this actually ends up being a turnover. And Franklin, they're going to cash it in here. Cameron Bird to Noel Moreno. And check out Moreno. Seeking contact, and nobody wants anything to do with that. So nice. we got to show you twice, right? Moreno looking for the contact. And as I said, I wouldn't want any of it either. It was just that kind of night for the T-Birds. Franklin, they get the win 35-7. to It's the Cougars' first win of the season and that is big for this Cougars program when you think about all the young talent that they have on really both sides of the football and a little bit of confidence can really start to go a long ways for this team. Nine overtime Stephanie Shields was out at Coronado High School. She filed this week's Coach's Spotlight. Hey Andy, Franklin takes the bragging rights tonight after not giving up any points to Coronado until just the very last minute of the game here at the West Side Bowl. Now this is a crucial point in the season for both teams. Coming into this game, Franklin was 0-3 and Coronado had a perfect 2-0 record. We spoke with Franklin's coach Darren Walker before the game who said he's never been 0-3 as a coach or a player. So this win was important for him tonight. We caught up with Coach Walker after the game, he, and he tells us he's happy that they're taking the trophy home. We maybe gave up those points at the very end, but the reality was is our defense played our lights out. Offense did what they had to do to score points. I mean, I just thought it was a team effort. Uh, I think the first kickoff really set the tone for the game, in my opinion. And here with me to break down the game, I have our nine overtime, Rick, the coach, Hernandez. So, Coach, first thoughts, what did you think of tonight's game? Anyone stood out to you? You know, it's really interesting because as a coach, you never want to, you know, blame injuries or the health as a reason for not winning. But it was unique today because the, the Franklin Cougars were healthy for the first time this season, and it really showed, especially at quarterback Cameron Bird. He was, I mean, he showed all of his skills healthy. He went full speed, running the offense, he actually with the run, the pass, and not only that, but he's got great legs. He can make the wild place, and he's three-dimensional. Very hard to stop when they're healthy. Of course, and what does this kind of win mean for, for these teams during this point in the season? Well, you know, at this point in district play, this is a must win for the Cougars. It was a must win for, the, to, for Coronado, too. However, the Cougars got it, and now they're in a position to have hope. They're going into the district play, so this is, this is a type of win that if you're going to be in the playoffs, you have to make this win tonight. And then, all right, Coach, well, thank you so much for being out here. Always a pleasure talking to you. It's exciting to be out, outside instead of in the studio right now. Lots of fun here on Football Friday Night. Of course. Well, that wraps up our nine overtime game of the week, and I have a story coming up a little later in the show on the history of the West Side Bowl. For now, Stephanie Shields. Andy, back to you. All right, thank you, Stephanie, and our thanks to Coach Rick Hernandez as well. Double the trouble from our game of the week. Tonight's other District 1-6